Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Old Volks TV. It's early this morning. It's the, the weekend of the harvest, the big show everybody's been talking about. Uh, it's super early, actually, this morning. It's like 7 o'clock. Uh, I got a lot to get done. I uh, had a busy month so far. I haven't had a really chance to do the stuff I wanted to to the bus to get it ready for the show. So this is it. We're going to get a wash. We're going to get a wax. Uh, but most importantly, I'm going to do some wiring on this trailer. Um, I, I took it last year, but I didn't have any lights hooked up and it was a little sketchy. So I'm going to try and actually be partially legal this time. I don't have it registered or anything, but uh, I got no way to get my swap stuff down there and I got to sell them carbs. So <laughs> uh, we're going to wire it up and I'm going to make a harness. I'm going to show you how to do it. The Texas Junk Kings way, uh, Gary showed me a little trick how to wire up these little baby trailers and uh, we're going to see if it works. I suck at wiring, so maybe it's not gonna work, but at least we tried, right? Either way, it's going, so who cares? Uh, so let's take a look at the trailer. Uh, hold on, I gotta change the... Ah, sorry about that. Okay, so here's our trailer. <coughs> Whoa. Okay, so here's our trailer. Uh, it's just a little three foot by four foot. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where it's from. If you know where it's from, you can uh, hit me with the comments and tell me um, but the research that I found has showed that it's like a mid to late 60s U-Haul tag-along trailer um, it's different than the usual Allstate trailers just because of its shape uh, it's, it's kind of you know it's not clamshelly and then uh, I put those taillights on just because I like cool taillights so ignore that part um, but otherwise with the vents and the latch here, and the way that it has, you know, the round fenders and stuff, it just, all I could find was it was an old U-Haul trailer, so. I painted it silver, I painted the fenders black, and uh, hopefully today we can get those lights working. And then, uh, over here, got the uh, tow hitch, I think we saw from another video uh, from Jeremy on the Samba, and I'll put a link for that down below. Um, it's a really good hitch and you can't really see what it, where it goes, but it, it kind of replaces the bumper brackets back there underneath. And uh, the bumper mount is super solid. I mean, way more solid than the brackets on their own. And then you get that, you know, standard hitch there. So if I wanted to pull a ski boat, I probably could if I could do it. I don't think I could do it, but... Uh, so there, so that's our, our morning is going to be get that wired up. Uh, I got everything packed last night in that trailer, so it's amazing how much crap you can fit in one of those little tiny trailers. Uh, but it's all loaded up, so it's good. And we're going to get the bus clean and waxed and washed and ready to go. Uh, we got the cruise tonight, which is, you know, super fun. We're going to end at Top Notch again, one of our favorite spots. Um, and then tomorrow morning is the big show gonna make some money at the swap meet gonna have some good times hanging out with our friends it's a show we look forward to all year because it's one of the only shows that's not super hot out now uh, the weather you know usually cooperates pretty good with this show so let's get to work so we can get there all right so what we got here is your basic trailer extension harness um, this one's pretty long I don't know it's like 20 feet or something I got this at uh, AutoZone last night for 15 bucks uh, it's just because it's the right colors and it's already, you know, they're already stuck together. So it's kind of nice to make a little cleaner install. Uh, we're not going to use this end, your standard four pin end, uh, because I like these old four pin round connector. Uh, just to me, they just look a little more vintage. It'll look a little more correct on the bus uh, as if the bus would have had a big old trailer hitch. Uh, so I made the little bracket out of some aluminum, kind of bent it up and uh, drilled a couple holes in it so that'll mount under the bumper near the hitch, you know, and then I pre-wired this last night just because we're going to use the harness that's already on the trailer. Um, we're just going to sort of splice it into that. It's a little too short uh, to have any kind of good length. So we're going to do this. Um, the way that these work is it's got these little pins 
and you'll notice they're gold except one is not so you can keep you know keep track of them and then uh, I just took a little piece of each wire and stuck it in there in the same order as I did on the male side uh, just so I can be sure that that silver pan lines up with the silver pin and all the wires that I connect are the right connections. And then that slides down inside here. And then when you plug it in, you plug it in just like a trailer. Uh, it works pretty good. So wire that up. Uh, we're gonna start with this side because we know we know it's gonna end here. So this is where we'll start it and then we'll run it inside the engine bay and run them over connect them uh, once we've made our harness so we'll do that I'll do it super fast so we don't have to watch me do it and hopefully it comes out good okay so that wasn't too bad. Uh, I went ahead and re redid this one just with some longer uh, wire, just because it's better to have a little more than not enough. Uh, and I obviously had enough, I had like 20 feet, and I only need like four. So uh, this side, you know, we got it all in there and and set it. I'm not real happy with how these are just loose in here, so I'm gonna try and find something to zip tie them in a little loop. Uh, just because I don't want it to pull uh, both sides of this actually. This crimps down, but I'm not real not real excited about how they're just loose in there. They could easily just pull out. Uh, so I'm gonna sort that out later. But for now, let's just get it lit. Um, I got these little taps here. This is a, it's like a splicer tap. So you crimp that on one wire a spade connector goes in here and you can double tap off of one wire and this is the trick so you put two of these together and you can put your factory wire just slip it right on here without having to cut it and then you have your two new wires for the harness come and off go down to the trailer and this way that you're not you know jacking around with your factory harness you don't have to cut anything or even if you put a brand new harness in you don't want to cut the end off because Maybe one day you want to get rid of this trailer hitch. This will make it so much easier because it's still the same length. You're just tapping it and splitting it at the end. So uh, we'll measure out for these inside the engine bay. You know, one's going to go this side and one's going to go this side, up and over and down. And then uh, we can tidy it up and make it look real clean. Uh, so we're going to measure out and cut these wires. I'm going to cut, again, probably about a foot extra just so I have some room to tuck them back you know get them up and over so I'm gonna do that we're gonna cut it and we'll split these together and we'll have our harness and then we just have to mount the plug underneath the bumper you know find a good spot where it's not gonna be near the exhaust um, that's it and then uh, we'll do the trailer side and we'll see if she works All right, so we got our, uh, our harnesses all ready to go. See on the end here, we can just slide that factory harness right into here. And then uh, we'll make a little jumper with a male that'll jump out right to the tail light. And then we've effectively split the factory harness into two, just coming right down. Pretty great, right? Uh, I'll put a link to where I got these. I bought a whole big old pile of them on uh, Amazon, uh, but I'll throw a link down there. They, they come in super handy for, you know, anything from stereos to uh, you know, lighting, wiring, all this great stuff. So uh, we're gonna gonna get this thing tapped onto the bumper, and then uh, we'll go work on the trailer side, and then we'll hook it up and see if we got got it to work. All right, so we're down to the tail lights here. And uh, if you feel back there, and I have 
two, two connectors. On there. Just like that. I got a uh, voltage drop because I have LED tail lights. Um, so that's a sort of a corrector. Here's my two wires. Uh, normally it would just be these two, um, but because I had to add this little jumper on there, uh, we put a different kind of two-way. It's kind of the same thing as I use it, just doesn't have a little plastic on it. Um, so what we're gonna do is, from the factory harness, uh, yellow is the driver's side on my trailer. I think that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. We're gonna take that factory harness, we're gonna snap that into our little jumper. And then we take the other side of our little jumper here. I don't know which is which, we're gonna figure it out. If we need to flip them over, we can flip them over. Uh, as far as the uh, turn signal and uh, running lights. I'm just gonna guess. 50-50 shot, right? Yeah. And we can tuck our harness, you know, later cleanly out of the way. Uh, we're gonna put our other. Let's come up. Right there. We're gonna put our other guys on there after. You know, we'll slide them into this slot here. It looks like a mess, but it's not that bad. <laughs> then we'll wrap the whole thing up in electrical tape uh, to keep everything on. These are a little slippery for now, but should do the job to just test it. So we have the other jumper splitters that will slide into these for our, our harness that we made. And that should be that should be good enough to get light to the trailer directly from the harness. You can't hook them up to the taillight because the taillight's LED, it's not putting out enough juice and if it has to go through there, it won't light them up. Trust me, I know I tried. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing on the passenger side, then we'll get the big harness out and attach that to the bumper uh, down here somewhere, and then uh, we'll get to the trailer. Alright, so that took a little while to get that trailer backed up into position, uh, but we got it. Little trailers are a pain in the ass to back up, that's for sure. I'm going to use wire nuts for this for right now. Take them out of the other connectors. Um, but this should be really either one long piece or uh, you know connect it the right way. But I'm going to do this just so I can see if it works. And then uh, we can restring the whole trailer later. It's only about six feet. And we'll just add the the new ends to our connector. That way we're, we can be sure there's no shorts or anything, you know, at the connection here. Oh, I'm old. So, look back. Okay, so here's our new pigtail. See, I left enough where we'd have a little bit for turning, uh, which is important if you like to turn when you're driving. <laughs> so we're just gonna wire this up in a one, two, three, four fashion. Actually, we're gonna probably have to rewire the trailer because it's wired up. I don't know, okay, one, two, three, four. Should be good. As long as we remember which side's what when we do the uh, you know, matching up here. Uh, 
make sure these wires are on the same side. So the green ones will be obviously on the passenger side. The uh, yellow one will be on the driver's side. So that's how the trailer was previously wired. I don't know if that's correct. Like I said, I'm terrible at wiring. But I feel like this is easy enough that uh, I could give it a shot. So we take our yellow and our yellow. Again, temporary with the wire nuts. Just to see if this is going to work before I go through all that trouble. It's not even a good wire nut. Problems left and right with this darn trailer. Green to green. Um, this plug has a little notch on top and that lines up with the little notch down here so that our silver pin can line up. Once you close that, it's supposed to catch, catch it so that it can't be pulled out. I'm going to keep that because it's still kind of good in case we need to switch it back uh, to tow this trailer with a regular car. If we break down somewhere or whatever, uh, I'll probably keep the new one that I cut off over there. I left some slack on it. Uh, this way we can real quick change it out and somebody can bring this trailer home because the size of the ball or whatever, the electrical, you know, something happens and fix it. All right, so let's see if it worked or if we're gonna catch ourselves on fire. All right, so we got our, you know, our lights here, everything's hooked up. Wires are all hooked up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see if we get any light. Fingers crossed. Hey, so we got running lights, we got a signal, let's see what the other side does. Yeah, so we got a running light on this side, we got a signal on this side. It's a little dim, I might have to goof with the uh, ground a little bit. To see if I can get it to go a little brighter. It's daytime now, so. And then just running lights. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go test the brake lights. You tell me if the brake lights come on. <laughs> All right, we did it. We got that thing lit up, uh, it works. And uh, we got blinkers, we got tail lights. I think we have brake lights, I don't know. I gotta read the comments to find out uh, if we got brake lights or not. One thing I'm not super excited about is that when I'm running it and I have my turn signals on, the bus turn signals don't flash, they just sort of flicker. Um, I think that's just because they're LEDs. They don't, they're real sensitive to that power. They're just not getting enough, but you can't really see them anyway. So as long as those are flashing, you know the signal then i think we're going to be okay uh, so we're one step closer to being legal and on the road uh, i'm going to go ahead and finish this wiring i think i'm just going to replace everything on the trailer with what i have left over there um, from the lights all the way up to the connector just to make it one seamless piece i don't want to have a joint down there if i don't have to uh, so i'm going to do that we're going to get everything cleaned up i'm going to try and throw a coat of wax on here before the day is through and we got to go head out to the harvest cruise uh, that's this evening and end a top notch and then tomorrow's the big show that everybody's so excited about, uh, the VW Harvest. Uh, so be sure to check out their page, VW Harvest on YouTube. 
Uh, they're going to have some videos up from the weekend. We'll have some up on our channel as well, and I'm sure a bunch of other people will too. So VW Harvest on YouTube. Uh, VW Life on YouTube, those guys will have some harvest stuff put up as well. Uh, I'm certain of it because it's their show. <laughs> That's everybody's show, but they're the ones that put it on. They do a great job every year. Uh, VWHarvest.com, you can check out VW Life. They got a Facebook page too. I'm going to try to link that up here. I don't know if it's going to work or not because it's still pretty new. Uh, VW Life on Facebook, VW Life on the YouTubes. Check us out at OldBolts.club. You can get us on all our Instagrams and our Facebook, see what everybody's up to. Check us out at volksamerica.com. Get your magazine subscriptions. Uh, Volks Mania Magazine is also there. That's the free one if you don't think you want to commit to paying. I highly recommend you get the Volks America one though. Really good magazine. It's really more of a book uh, than anything else. So amazing stuff there. That's it. I got a lot to do today. I got a little bit of time left to do it. So we're done. Thanks for watching. <laughs>